Hey there, welcome back. It's Garrett with DIY PBX. This is video 19. In the next couple of minutes, you'll learn how to get a Grandstream desktop handset registered and set up with your DIY PBX. Here's Kent, our head trainer, with detailed steps on how to get that done. Hey, Kent from DIYPBX.com again. This time I want to talk to you about setting up a Grandstream GXP phone. Um, the first thing you need to do to get these phones configured is kind of get to the web page. You could do it off of the phone's integrated uh, GUI if it has one. This one does, but I prefer to do it from the web page. It's more intuitive for me. Um, I was able to find the IP address of my phone just by pushing up uh, once, the up arrow on my phone, once from the home screen, and it showed me my IP address, and that's what you're looking at now as I just type my IP address into the browser. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm already logged into my PBX, and I am just I go to the extension screen, I bring up one of the extensions, I decide to bring up 101, and I'm going to copy the secret here. So I get my secret, I go over here, and we're setting this up under account one. You just go to accounts, then the general settings under accounts. And we can call the account name pretty much whatever we want, but I'm going to call it 101. The server is going to be the IP. We'll go get that in a minute since I just copied the secret. Um, and the user ID is going to be our extension number. The authenticate ID is going to be our extension number. We paste our secret in there, and we can put whatever we want in there to describe it. And after that, we go and we can get the IP address off of here of our server. Or if you did DNS, that would be handy as well. You could use the DNS name. And again, we have to take out whatever the browser adds in there, so you just have the IP address. After that, you save and apply. And we give it one sec here as it links up with the server. Should be good to go at this point. The other thing I would show you is that if you go to the, I believe it's the SIP settings. Yeah, you can set the local SIP port. Again, I always do 25, then the extension number uh, or some other unique number so that not all phones have the same local SIP port. Um, that's basically it. If we go over to our free PBX panel and we look at our info and we look at our peers, we can see that indeed 101 is connected and we are good to go. I could make a call off of this phone. I could receive a call on this phone. That's really all there is to it for the Grandstream GXP phones. Thanks for sticking around to the end and watching the entire video. Remember, you can find a complete transcript of this video at DIYPBX.com along with our complete catalog of DIY PBX setup videos. Thanks again for watching and good luck.